Hello everyone and welcome to what is a slightly different style of video today. So as most of you will probably know if you've clicked on this video, May 1st marks 30 years since the death of Ayrton Senna. Now if you don't know who Senna is, to put it simply, he's widely regarded as probably one of, if not the best uh, F1 drivers of all time. In the 1988 Monaco Grand Prix, Senna put down one of the best qualifying laps anyone had ever seen in the absolute beast which is the mclaren mp4-4 so for today's video i thought i'd pay my respects and try to create a sort of tribute towards the man himself uh, and see how close can we get to his lap time at monaco in this car now keep in mind this car is from an era full of massive turbochargers overly powered engines completely unsafe cars tires that would disappear in seconds you'd have qualifying engines that would blow up on purpose and these cars had about the same downforce as a brick i mean in comparison to the current f1 cars these cars were absolutely ridiculous it's like strapping a rocket engine to a go-kart that is completely insane there's no fancy flappy paddles or crazy computer assistance this is all just straight up raw driving and that's what made Senna so incredibly good so with a lap time of 1 minute 23.998 seconds to beat can we even get anywhere near close to what Senna could do so then here we go we've got on the qualifying tires we've got our turbo So all the way up to 100% with absolutely no regard for the health of the engine. And we're just going to sort of half nurse this car around the circuit here. Just, just get a bit of heat into tyres before we start pushing it. So we're coming up on our first fast lap now. I'll be surprised if we can even survive it, to be honest. Um, obviously heel towing. So allow it to downshift smoother. All right, here we go. shot <laughs> really hard to get the brakes down properly while seal towing i'd be so surprised if we can put down a single clean lap to be honest oh, this car is just absolutely insane a bit more grip in that corner now. Absolutely flat out through the tunnel. On the brakes, downhill. <laughs> Fuck it in. Don't want to hit the walls here. Oh! <laughs> okay, so using the powers of sim racing, we should now be able to crash this car without taking any damage, which will give us a slightly better chance at actually getting around the circuit. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I'm mean, even trying to perform any level of trail braking. 
in this car whilst having to heel toe downshift is it's just it's so difficult i mean just even trying to get on the power in this car you've got to just tiptoe around it Twenty-five, seven. I think it's just all about getting that, ooh, getting that turbo spooled before corner exit, if you can. Just put down all that power. It's fully wheel spinning on the exit there. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and we put it in the wall and keep in mind i'm trying my absolute hardest here to even get a clean lap senna was probably putting down faster laps than i am right now for two hours in that grand prix i mean i'm exhausted and it's been all right look i've lost it <laughs> this is absolutely exhausting and I've done what like 10 laps maybe oh no we're gonna lose some time there oh no <laughs> no no oh so it's also very important to remember that when this time was set they were really in this car like, Senna was really in this car. He wasn't just sat behind a computer, driving a fake version of it. He was actually in it. He had his life to fear for. He ran the risk of dying when he drove this car around here at such ridiculous speed. And even with all that fear and that risk, his lap is just almost impossible to replicate. I mean, I'm sure some absolute alien will be able to beat it, but I sure as hell can't. I can barely even get close. We'll give this a few more laps, a few more tries. But I very, very highly doubt we're going to get anything anywhere near... 
that incredible lap time that he did. Well then, I'm sure if I drove this for hours and hours, I could possibly get a little closer. That's a 125.27, which I believe is faster than the lap time that Alan Prost set in that same Grand Prix, but nowhere near, <laughs> nowhere near what Senna did. I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm sweating buckets, truly so exhausting. And I'm not even sat in a race car in the south of France going 100 and what, 20 mile an hour average. It's just, it's insane. With that, we're going to call it there. 125.27. That's what we were able to achieve. And to be honest, it would feel slightly wrong if I got anywhere near Senna's lap time. Because what a lot of people consider that lap to be is perfect. And it's very rare that you find a driver that is capable of achieving perfection. And that is just what he did. So then, 30 years on, we're all still thinking about him. We're all still thinking about the things he could do in a car and the absolute incredible legacy he left behind. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very different video from what I'd normally do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of this, and I'll see you in the next one.